Hi, this is Janet Michelle at You Caught Me Crafting, and welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. It's so nice to see you. We have another Diamond Art Club sneak peek for their fourth anniversary. Congratulations. I hope everybody's having an amazing week. And I'm ready to do this amazing, amazing unboxing for this artist who I love. You might have guessed the photo from the stickers that I put on top, but <laughs> I just couldn't resist. Are you ready? They are both featuring apples. And right here, I have apples by Christopher Lovell. It's a square. It's 51 by 71. And look at this artwork. It's so, so gorgeous. I'll show you the bigger picture when we get inside, but I'll also put a little picture of it right here. It's so beautiful. Jimin and Taylor Swift and their apples. I'll have to sit over there because this is the main event. And I'm so excited. Ready? <laughs> Before I open up the package, I just want to show you this is a second sticker. And you can actually just stick it on here if you don't have enough room to store boxes and you're collecting a big stash especially with the 50 new releases this weekend or this week but especially with 50 new releases coming your way you can always put the sticker here and then put paintings away like that or you can put this on your box when you're getting up and now i will open up this toolkit and the only difference between a square and a round is the square has tweezers. And then this toolkit, I got a pretty dark purple pink pen. Then I got a bag of baggies. I always love saying that. A bag of baggies. A purple squeegee. I got two hearts of wax and it came in this cute little container then we have our washi tape and cover minder i've had the yellow rose before but this is new washi tape to me it's gorgeous can you see that kind of i love being surprised and these just two little inclusions to the kit plus making the tray this pretty pretty glitter and putting in the plug diamond art club leveled up <laughs> and there we have our tray like i said so pretty with glitter then it also comes with two multi-placers of four and a seven and like i said this is a square kit so it did come with the tweezers they are very sharp if you have pets cats <laughs> I guess I think cats are different than just normal pets. Pets, cats, or small children, or even yourself, you can get really hurt. These are sharp. If you step on them at all, it would not be fun. So always keep the safety cap on, and I really just keep mine put away. I don't use them for much. Maybe fixing a diamond or two. And that is all that comes in our toolkit. So I'm going to go ahead and put that away, and then... We will open up this painting and see what's inside. So, here we go. Diamond Art Club. Do what makes you sparkle. Where is my little green giraffe? You guys, if you've watched my videos, you know my little giraffe. Being very careful not to cut the canvas or anything like that. So here we go. So first, I'm going to put our colors aside, but look at this beautiful palette. 
If you're somebody who doesn't want a super colorful painting, this is perfect for you. But I'll go through these later. In my videos, what I do is I'll go through these and then I go through all of the colors. I cut the ABs out. We find all of the ABs on the drill field. Then I take a zoom in and we look all over the drill field. And then that's it. They're long but fun, so sit back and just enjoy. First, you get a thank you for your purchase. What's included? Tips and tricks. A thank you ten coupon code off of your next purchase. And if you're a newcomer to Diamond Art Club, for your first purchase, you can use my code right here. You caught me crafting for $10 off your first purchase. And sometimes that is more than 10% or 20%. So for your first one, you can use my code and then you save a code, you know, so you can use that for your next purchase, if that makes sense. <laughs> but no pressure. I'm just giving you mine if you'd like to. It'll be linked down below too. Then they have step-by-step -step instructions and little QR codes to get to step-by-step -step video instructions and the Facebook group. I will have all of that linked below. Not the instructions, but everything for Diamond Art Club. The newest arrivals, their Facebook group, everything like that. And then, if you download their app, they give you another 20% off. And you scan this for your first purchase through the app. As you can see, Diamond Art Club is really generous and they throw coupon codes out there for us because they know sometimes we need them. Sometimes we all need a little coupon code. And you guys, I'm so excited. Let me clear this up for you. Yes. Apples by Christopher Lovell. Look at this artwork. Wow, it made my camera go. That's beautiful. Look at that. It reminds me of um the the witch, how people called it the witch. With um that now it was like a famous goat now. It's a square kit, 51 by 71. And we have 27 colors and three ABs. I'm so excited to see where they go. Where do you think the apples? And with only 27 colors, that's perfect for this. And we also get a ton of extra little stickers. So if you need to kit up something and you can't find stickers or you just want to put stickers on something else or your spare bags because you'll often have a lot of spares left over with Diamond Art Club. You can put your baggie or you can put your spares in a baggie and then just put one of these on it and use these stickers. There's a whole ton of them. So beautiful. He's done it again. Okay, so now we have the top. Do what makes you sparkle. And it is a self-flattening poured glue canvas. And are you guys ready? Da -na -na -na. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look. Wow. Oh my goodness. Her face. Oh, this is so, so gorgeous. Look at that. I wish I could get all of it in shop, but you've seen the artwork and she is just, it's gorgeous. And I love Christopher Lovell's style of work so, so much. If you look at the bottom, you can see right here. Diamond Art Club, Apples, 51 by 71, licensed by Diamond Art Club from Christopher Lovell. 
that's so important to buy licensed artwork. Your canvas does come with a lifetime warranty and missing diamonds protection or lost diamonds protection. They'll send you diamonds. I don't often find that that happens, but their customer service is so great. Look at her. Let me go ahead and measure her really quickly. Measure the painting. Let's measure. We have 51 by 71. So you can see Yes, this does start at the end, so this looks like it's 50, see? Oh, that is 50, so maybe we're 50, 70. Just want you guys to know exactly what you're getting. 51 by... Seventy, yeah. So it is one centimeter or fifty by seventy. I'm sorry. It looks like it's one centimeter shorter, which does not bother me. And it is stunning. I'm just glad that it matches on both sides, because then I'd be like, oh, but since it's one centimeter short on both sides, then that means the proportions fit, you know. If it was like three on one side and two on one, I'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> but this is fine and I hope it doesn't bother you. And here is our beautiful color palette. Let me go ahead and cut them into smaller strips and then we will go through the colors. Remember, we have 27 colors. And if you don't like to kit up, it's really easy because Diamond Art Club puts your little chart on the bottom right and a chart on the top left. So if you just want to work out of the bags, you are welcome to do that. This is crafting. Do it however you want to. It's supposed to make you feel comfortable and just relax. So now let's go through these beautiful colors. And we'll just start with the smaller ones and move to the big bags in the back. It's very bright. So, 762, a little stowaway. 898, 402, 414. And look at the quality. Oh, our first AB, 139. And AB is Aurora Borealis. It's got that extra shine, see? And it'll really make the places where they go, they'll make them really pop out. Then we have 400 and 3830. Then we have 435, 739, 3776. And 413 in Diamond Art Club manufactures their own diamonds, so you can look at the quality by seeing how flat the bottom of the squares are, especially on darker shades. So, look at all that. Here's 738, our second AB 105, 317, and 648. We have two bags of 938 and two bags of 3860. Not two, but three bags of 3860 because here's the third one. Then we have one, two, two bags of 310, 3371. 3371 again. Two of those. Let's see if there are any more. Then you have two bags of 3864 
in two backs of 3024. Then one back of 3799. Then we have one, two, three bags of 779. And one, two bags of our last AB. Look how pretty. 141. Two bags of 841. And then one, two, three bags of 3033. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 948. So our biggest amount is 948. You can see that's a lot of fun multi-placing, but we'll go through the drill field. First, let me go ahead and cut those ABs out. And you can get a drink relax, get a snack, and then we will go through where those three ABs are going to go. Just let me cut them out. So here are our three ABs, and I'm going to go through the canvas, and if you'll just follow my finger, I'll show you where all of them go. Let's start with 105, which has a symbol of one, makes it easy. Starting at the bottom, let's look for ones. Okay, so on her basket, on her basket, there are three ones right here in a row, and then a little one higher. You can see it's a kind of peach shade, a little bit lighter. There are two ones right here, the three, and then a one. And then two and then one so there are four 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 two and four and then there are three right here and not under the apples but there are two right here on this side then okay part of my reach the apples this color we have ones, not the darker orange, orangish, and there's like a, a little bit lighter orange, and then there are ones. There are four right here, one, two, a row of four, six ones right here, two, and they just circle here. Same with this. One's here, one's here, one's down here, and one's right here, everywhere my finger's touching. Then one's right here, two up here, then one's going down to here, a line of them right here. And this little apple back here we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ones right here. We have 11 ones in just this little apple here, so they go up here, then up here, just strands, looks like strands of hair. One, two, three, and here's a strand, and here are some. Here are four right to the left of her eye, and one, two, then another strand that goes down right here. And her hair on the other side. Just like on her right side, on her left, there are ones starting, start at the top of her head, right there, and then this strand of hair is ones. There are one, five, six, seven ones right here, then this little peach shape. It's her hair, but it's just a shape. It's like a backwards S. Ones. Ones. Then ones. Ones, like little strands coming down here. Let's 
see if there are any more at the top. Now you can see it in this star. There are two ones right here. One, two, two, one, one, one. Three right here. Two, two, four, one right there. Two and two. Then we go up to the fish hook or whatever's holding the star on. And then three in a row right here. And then going up, there are three in a row here, three in a row here, two here, two here, two here, and four at the top. I think it's a feather or some painted wood or something. Love it. Then, on the goat's other ear, well, it's not on his, well, it's on his horn, or her, <laughs> but one, two, three here, one, two, three there, four, two here, two here, two here, and then this whole peach line, those are ones, and are there any at the top? It's funny, there aren't any on the... It's funny, there aren't any on this crown thing. I'm guessing it's a crown, but then as you go up, there are one, two, three, four, five ones right here, and three right here. There are also four right here, and three right there. And then three right here, if I didn't mention this before. So there are some on his horns as well. So they both have, <laughs> her hair has some ones and his horns, <laughs> sorry. So that's interesting that both her hair and his horns both have ones, so they have that in common. Not that his horns are hair, but you know what I mean. So now let's move on to two, which is 139, this beautiful gray AB, and I already see some right here in this feather. There's a two there, a two there, a two there, a two there. Twos, two, three twos, two, three twos, five twos, three twos, and then six up here, seven, eight, nine. So they just go all up this feather in her eyes. There are two twos right here, and three twos on this eye, her left eye. There are two twos on this finger, and three twos on her left finger, on her coat, her cloak. We move down, and right here at her wrist, there are four twos. Then we go down, and here's a row of five, three, and then three. And then if you just swing around like that, these are all... Oh. <laughs> could you see that? I hope you could, but if not, it's just right here, these twos. And then three, three, and five. On the other side, I just see them on the left side. So for the twos, we have some in this feather, and then we have some in her eyes, and then her fingernail polish, see? Doesn't that look like fingernail polish? And then on this side of her sleeve. Look at that artwork. So we have our beautiful two bags of 141, this white AB which is really just gonna make this sparkle and be gorgeous. I can't wait to see where they all go. So, not all of these white dots are threes. Just follow my finger and I'm just gonna go from the bottom to the top and point out all of the threes. So, here we go. I see one here, 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 
here, here, here, here, three in a group of four, here, here, just one the way up here, here, four right here, one, three in a group right here, one, two, three, four, seven, seven right here, four more right here, spread out, one right there, 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 there. This way you move in to the other side. There's one right there. There. There, there, there. There, there, there. There, there, there. Oh, stop saying there. Who's there? <laughs> and then I say it. Oh my goodness. Another one. Three, 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 three. Three, one, three, one, three. Here, here. A little group of three. One there. Here, here. And then, here, here, two, three, four right there, three right there, there's one right there, and then, there's one here, but, oh, one here, one here, and one here, but then, there are four in a row here, and then two, four, six, seven, eight. Right there, so as we go up her, so her jacket, the threes go like this. And up here. Everywhere my finger's touching. There are two right there. There are three threes way out here. And one way up there. And then there are five in a row right here. So, I was showing you those, so our jacket goes up, 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 all of these white right here that kind of look like feathers, these are all threes, and there's one three right there, that little white part, and it keeps going up, and actually around her finger right here, these are threes. And then there are three threes on the finger right next to those two that look like nail polish, kind of. Then we keep going up. There are four here, three here, four, three, three, two, one, two, one, three. And all of these go up to here. There are three threes here, two, two. There's one close to this stick, then all of these little lines are threes, and then see this big group right here? These are all threes. And we went to the, we went to that here, so there are threes, just the same way making her jacket, coat, sparkle. There are one, two, three, four, six, six, right here around her arm. Then three right here. Three, four, two. And on the apples, we have one right here, one there, one there. One, two, three, four on this apple. Three on this apple, three on this apple, and three on this apple. Then the basket has threes right here, and two threes right there. Then, as we move up, there are threes on her other finger that looks like it has nail polish, so you know they just match. Around her hand, and we move up. There's a three, there's a three. These little white 
patches right here. These are threes. Then, okay, there's a light color, and then the darker parts are threes. So, this group, threes. This group, threes. This group, threes. And as we move up, this group, threes. Threes. I'll go up to like the bottom of the goat head. So, around the branch, that dark group, threes. Threes. Big, big chunks of ABs. I love this. Threes. Threes, 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 threes. All of the darker parts are threes. Wow. I want to do this one. I'm already working on a Christopher level though, so. Okay. Here, we went up to this part on this side. So, this little dark part, threes. That's six of them. Three threes here. These little dark parts are all threes. See them? Up to this big one right there. That's a group, that's a group, and that's a group of threes. And remember, to the left of the goat, running all along, those are threes, threes. Three, 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 one right here, three here. Wow. So, all the dark parts on the side. So now that you know where they all go, at least I'll hear all these dark parts. Not all because these, but these dark parts. You can tell the difference. Those are threes. They're going to be big patches of white sparkling AB. And we move up and we've gotten to under the stars. So there's actually one three right there. Then two threes in the goat's eyes. I, sorry, two threes in his eye. I feel like it's a he. Then, remember, I'm going to show you the whole drill field up close. So, this big group, threes, threes. There are three threes right here, six right here, and 11 right here, and those are two patches of threes. Then at the top right here, with this top part of the basket, there are five, three, three, and then they run down the side right there. And then they go all the way up the middle of the feather. Wow. And then, so we can get to the left, they actually go, see the white line? All threes above the goat, right there, and right there. There's one there, 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 there. These are threes. These are threes. Now we go down here. Those are threes, then this big one, threes, threes, one three here. Here are three patches, threes right there. And then the top left is a patch of threes right there. I feel like I had to miss some, <laughs> but then, yeah. Then, oh, above the feather, the top, 
There are threes right there, you see? Four right in the middle at the top. There are threes. It's gonna be a mixture of these colors with big pockets of these. So beautiful. So here is our beautiful, clean drill field. So the bottom. That really clear Diamond Art Club 310 lining. You can see the start of the threes. And her basket. Again, just look how clear. Here are the apples. Remember the three, the dash. And it looks like a small dot, but you'll be able to tell in person that it's a square. Let's see? This is to the right of her. Well, her right. See? Here's her big groups of threes. Sorry about the glare. And my shadow. Does that help? That looks a little weird. <laughs> the threes. Our goat. Look how clear. Don't our sad girl. With a beautiful face. Look how clear it is. You can tell these are pluses, plus signs and minus signs. See how clear, clear, clear everything is. Threes, the patches of threes on the other side. See, so clear. Lead up to our star with the ones. And here's our feather. See how clear this drill field. And you have all three ABs here one, two, and three. Then the threes go all the way to the top, remember? This drill field couldn't be clearer. That's why I think it'll be a blast to work on. And just to see this picture come to life is going to be so cool. No, no, I want to work on it. No. And see that layer of three on top of the horn? And then also on top of there. That's why I think it looks like. Sorry on top of there and then also like on top of there that's why I think it kind of looks like something fell on there like it's laying see this just isn't natural at all you know which is definitely what Christopher was going for I think isn't she beautiful it really reminds me of, like, the Vavitch. <laughs> so I might go on his website and see if I can find anything about her. I know that people have done, like, fan sculptures and things of her, and he showed them to me, and he said he was really impressed with them. So he, I'm sure that he would love if you got this and you tag him in it, or if you get any of his diamond paintings. He's a very kind person and loves to see people of his artwork, so I'll have all of his information below. 
I've done a painting of his before called Nine Lives and I can just pop a link up if you love his artwork. I really want to know the story behind this one. But what a beautiful painting to add to Diamond Art Club's legacy of four years and many more to come, right? So, here is Apples by Christopher Lovell, 51 by 71, but it's 50 by 70, remember we measured it, and it has 27 colors, 3 ABs, a ton of white ABs, and so I've been messaging with Mr. Lovell. And he hasn't told me about this painting just yet. We've talked about it a little bit, but not the whole story. So if he gets back to me before I upload this, I'll try to put something on camera. But if it's later, I'll put it in a pinned comment, just like what I did with Chrissa Bugs. I'll link hers up there. Moon, gorgeous. And I just told him, I was like, I'll take like I need their story they're like this is such a fascinating painting and he's so talented so <laughs> so I was like I'll take crumbs <laughs> anything and if you love this painting and find it as fascinatingly like macabre and beautiful and haunting and unnatural but natural because there are fresh apples but a dead goat with its eyes open on a sad but obviously beautiful girl you know who's painted around her eyes dark with makeup and she's sad tired and they're coming out of a place you can't tell what it is it's you know whatever you want it to be, I guess. There's definitely a very interesting story. And like I said, it reminds me of, it reminds me of the movie The Witch, especially since it had a beautiful female lead too also, and a goat. If you want to snatch this painting up, it will be released for Diamond and Ruby Tears at 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 29th, and then general release will be on the 30th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Like, there are no words to how interesting and beautiful and dark, but also bright this painting is. It's such a, like, for darkness, there's light, and then, like, some things look smooth, and some things look super rough, and you can't tell if it's snow or ash. One's bright and clean, and one's dirty. You know, like, it's like a juxtaposition of so many things. I don't know, this painting's making me think a lot, so. <laughs> so this has been Apples by Mr. Christopher Lovell licensed by Diamond Art Club. It's like hauntingly beautiful, which is a lot of Mr. Lovell's work, I feel. And again, I'll link all of his stuff below. Subscribe, like, comment what you think about this, please. I would love to know your thoughts. And especially if you know more about the tale behind this, if you know symbolism and anything that you want to point out, please comment below. Feel free. And Thank you so much for watching, especially if you've watched till the end. You're amazing, and I hope you're having an amazing Diamond Art Club week. I'm just going to call it Diamond Art Club week because they're amazing for doing this. 50 new releases. Look out for apples, and as I always say, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. They don't know what you're going through, and you don't know what they're going through. The world's hard enough, so be really kind to yourself, guys. You're amazing people, I promise you.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I love this sneak peek. I hope you guys did too. I'm signing out now. I hope you've had a great day or night wherever you are. Bye, I'll see you so, so soon. Really soon. <laughs> Bye. Let me just go think about this painting for another four hours. <laughs>